moving, got to keep on moving on, keep going on, go to keep on moving on. All can make it in life, go to get focused, keep on moving, sky is the limit. You got to get there, keep moving, keep marching on. You can make it in life, you got to get focused, keep on moving, sky is the limit. You got to get there, keep moving. Keep marching on, keep on moving, keep moving, keep marching on. Welcome to Able Differently, a program that inspires and gives insight on issues related to persons with disability, sharing their challenges and successes. On today's show, we are going to delve on issues afflicting persons with disability community. And of course, we are very much excited to be recording our show for the very first time at Sportsview Hotel in Kasarani. I'm your host, Jen Theuri. And me, Kaxton Asozi. Karibune. Keep moving, keep marching on. In the last highly contested election, a number of persons with disability were elected and nominated to represent others in the current parliament. This is thanks to different organizations that have taken keen interest to promote inclusivity in political leadership. Take a look at that story. In the 2017 general elections, Persons with disabilities were nominated and elected to the county assemblies and also at the National Assembly. This forum is a national forum for sustained inclusion. So Andy together with the UDPK and Handicap International, we organized this forum just to bring together key partners and stakeholders, mostly uh, members of the county assembly, elected and nominated, some electoral actors, and uh, DPO leaders to participate on um, issues that will take us forward on issues of inclusion of persons with disability in the electoral process. This is a commendable job because over the years, persons with disabilities have always fought for their inclusion in decision making of this country's affairs. What we are trying to look at is a situation where inclusion can be sustained over the years, over the coming four years before the next election, so that the good practices, the benefits, the all things that have been achieved in this election 2017 can be taken forward. It is in line with this that the Action Network for the Disabled, ANDI, in partnership with UDPK and Handicap International, organized a forum for sustained inclusivity under the theme strengthening participation of persons with disabilities in the post-electoral process in Kenya. Cut out a way forward where we can talk about our experiences before elections, experiences during elections, but again uh, come up with ex uh, some of the way forward on the post-election. What are some of the uh, changes that we would like to see going forward so that it's not an issue that ends in the election year. So uh, that is the main purpose of the forum. The event was attended by members of county assembly, members of parliament, and the members of the public who had different views on the inclusivity of persons with disabilities. These organizations, the Action Network for the Disabled, Handicap International, and the Disability um, DPO Umbrella, uh, United Disabled Persons of Kenya, when they came together and they organized this uh, forum and they even invited um, how our nominated persons and the elected persons with disabilities who do represent persons with disabilities. We saw, uh, I saw it good to come and uh, at least air my views and especially to the invited guests from institutions that work together with, uh, that should work together with persons with disabilities in our country. 
Paul Courier from NGEC gave the keynote address and did not fail to capture the progress of each and every part in realization of the inclusion of persons with disabilities in decision making. The commission is therefore a key player in promoting and protecting the rights of persons with disabilities among other vulnerable populations defined and well protected in the Constitution of Kenya, in the regional protocols and the international conventions and treaties. Other groups include children as defined in the Constitution, the youth, the minority and the marginalized groups and communities. And if you look at our Constitution, those are not even clearly well defined. Yet, we are required to ensure that we accord them the fundamental principles of human rights uh, due to them. <coughs> we also have women and we have older members of society where all of you are heading to. It's very easy not to find ourselves belonging to that category. But as long as you hit the age of 60, then you fall into the UN defined classification of older members of the society. Also, on the bench to give their report was the KNCHR, ELOG, and ORP, Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. Mashirika kama ile ya National Gender and Equality Commission NGEC, Handicap, na ELOG, kwa sababu wamejitokeza kujaribu kusaidia e, wale mavu. Na hasa, haki na zile sheria ambazo ziko za wale mavu ambazo na linda wale mavu. Kama vile sheria ya kuwakilishwa kwa wale mavu kwa county assemblies kwa national assembly na senate county assemblies nyingi counties nyingi hazina mle mavu hata mmoja ambaye anawakilisha masuala ya wale mavu na hicho ni kinyume cha sheria na ndio maana organizations kama hizi angee kwa meenda kotini pamoja na sisi kuhakikisha kwamba hizi county assemblies lazima zikuwa properly constituted the forum allowed for persons with disabilities to give feedback on the progress of organizations that are key when it comes to their representation our the people we represent the the persons with disabilities um, do wish to have specific persons whom they see have interests in representing them in those um, uh, law-making houses, the county assembly, the national assembly, and the senate. In the court of the day, we take a look at the saying that goes, just because my path is different, does it mean that I am lost? What do you think about this court, Dennis? Simply put, mm -hmm. we might be having the same dreams, the same aspirations, mm -hmm. the same goals, mm -hmm. but what really matters is the different routes that we will use. Okay. So it doesn't matter what route you use, it doesn't mean that you, you, you are lost. You know what you want at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So as long as you get to where you want to go, that's what that matters. Precisely. Let us take a short break. We will be right back. Keep moving, keep marching on. Keep moving. Keep marching on. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you are watching Able Differently. Remember to send in your comments through 22162, starting with the capital letters AD. Transforming towards sustainable and resilient society for all is this year's World Disability Theme. And in line with this, USIU organized an event to give a track record on the much they've, do they've done regarding persons with disability. Take a look at that story. International Day of Persons with Disabilities is normally observed on 3rd of December. It is in line with this that the USIU Africa had Disability Awareness Week. The week was full of activities that included creating awareness. The theme was transforming towards sustainable and resilient society for all. So today's theme about uh, this language and also access to information in the society. Through other people and creating awareness to the people who don't know about this language and about deaf in a vision to break the barrier. International Day for Persons with Disabilities 2017 is transformation towards sustainable and resilient society for all.
The main purpose was to sensitize and also look at the miles that the university has gone to include persons with disabilities in the USIU community. We are starting to have conversation around this. It is not good that we be a society that um, is not inclusive. So, and um, I just, mine is just a comment, not a um, question. And I would like to say that as a library, we are making steps towards being more inclusive to the different abled. Um, we are making uh, structural changes in the library. We need the library. We would like it to be as friendly as possible to you people. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed that we now have special furniture for people who are using wheelchair. Uh, furniture that can be adjusted. If you want it high, if you want it as low, you can have it like that. So, And we also want to come out to your help, especially if you want to get resources from different parts of the library and you cannot. We want to be there for you. We also want to include you in terms of the resources we have, in terms of the books that we have, the electronic books and both the physical books. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to say that the action we want to take is to welcome ideas from you. What can we as a library do differently so that we take care of your needs? We do not want anybody to be left behind. We run activities on disability like this possibly should be our third year of doing a disability awareness in the university. Now the objective really is to make the university community to be aware of issues of disability, uh, what kind of language they need to use when they're addressing people with disabilities, how should they respond to people who have disabilities, and uh, any other information that they need to know, because you realize terms like disabled, you know, those kind of things, people use them ignorantly, they don't know that we are talking about persons with disability, because one, they are persons first, then they have a disability. And so we are educating the community or creating awareness. So we invite different groups of people who work with people with disabilities of different sorts, so that they are able also to share the information they have, then students, staff, faculty, and other people who are passing by within the community get to be aware uh, on issues to do with disabilities. Now we have an inclusive uh, policy, and in fact there is a policy that the University Council is soon to approve. It has already been developed, so they are going to look at it, and then maybe if there is any change they need to make, they will, and if there isn't, then they will adopt it as it is, and then it will be launched in the University. There was a roundtable panel of students from USIU who shared their thoughts on the progress of the University so far, and also their experiences in and outside the University. The biggest transformation I've been able to see so far is not like tangible. It's not that you can see it. It's uh, the transformation I've seen is mostly in the USIU community. I think people are becoming more aware. People are becoming more empathetic towards people with disabilities. And uh, one thing I just got to learn, uh, even as we are having the change outside there, is that people are interested to know. People are really interested to know because sometimes uh, people with disabilities tend to seclude themselves from the society, thinking that they do not understand them, they do not love them, they do not care. But what I got to say is that people are interested, people ask, are even asking, what can I do to help? What can I do to change the situation? But even as the institution, I think we have a, a policy that is undergoing through the approval process and uh, we have uh, some things in there that we would love to see them implemented, we would love to see ramps all over, we would love to see you know, accessible vehicles, uh, the school buses and whatever, and uh, uh, we would love to see even being represented even in those boardroom meetings, the SAC, the University Council, the Senate and everything. So I think uh, we are, taking the right steps and we're going to get there and we also appreciate the link to the institution that we've been able to do so far. Yes, I know that the way it is called. <laughs> so I can only see half, half key and yeah and half. And probably you can feel the camera flashing so I don't know if I'm taking pictures. And you can hear us as well. Yes, I can. So yeah guys, so uh, okay fine. Uh, first in the school, when I joined I used to be scared like 
how am I going to tell my lecturers to probably set a different exam that's on a large font? Um, will they accept me to be in that class? Some classes are technical and some um, like experimental, practical and all that. So I used to wonder, am I still going to be in this school? And if I am, for how long probably I'll start uh, just one cell and things are not going to work out for me. So should I stop? And I'm like, uh, I think I've come too far to stop here. So I'm going to work with my lecturers. But I realized that the moment you think that, are they going to do this? Are they not? You know, those are voices in your head. Because USIU Africa, USIU community is the best place to be. If it's not here, then I'm not going to continue with my studies because I don't know if else I don't do what USIU is doing. First, for my classes, I always request a lecture, uh, probably a large one, of 18 or 20, and they normally print at 12. I was like, that's going to be like a book, and I'm like, it's okay. At the end of the day, I have to do the exam, and I have to read my notes. So they're like, are you okay if I give you 20? And I'm like, yes. So they're what the lecturers, I'm really, really happy with the lecturers, they're working together with me to make sure that I'm studying well, I'm comfortable, and for my, for my, uh, for my peers, they always ask me, is there any way I can help you? Can you revise together? So USIU community is the best place to be. If it's not here, it's not, not elsewhere. Okay, one thing that I've first of all would like to appreciate is the fact that when I came to USIU first, I felt like it's the place because I thought it's accessible and just very much for a, such a wonderful place. Personal experiences were also shared by other members in the congregation and how they are moving forward. You realize that our buses are not uh, designed in such a manner that uh, people with disability, I hope I don't say it wrongly, uh, cannot actually enter, they, they don't have that provision. So the next buses that will come will have that and that was through the students raising uh, that issue and now SAC took it to the administration and uh, it's done. Again, I would like to pose a challenge to the rest of my colleagues. I, I, I saw somewhere here which is a bit disturbing me just, that just because a person has disability should not lead you to assume that he or she needs help. Now, this is a question back to you. Some of us, it's not pity just that I want to help. I, 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 I know I've helped Regina quite a number of times, so we've shared classes. You want to help, so uh, where, where, where is the drawing line? Uh, how, how do they determine whether you're really helping or it's pity? Because sometimes, yes, she doesn't need the help or he doesn't need the help, but you really want to help. Yes, thank you. Pupils from Kenya Community Center for Learning, KCCL, did not disappoint when they were called upon to entertain. <music> Professor Dashanaba King was also in the audience and shared her takeaway home. Disability etiquette, disability-friendly infrastructure, and consistency in the activities. To our patron, from what I heard today, a lot of what we're looking for on this wonderful campus that's already doing a lot of things is uh, I heard about disability etiquette. So perhaps we can have a little signage around campus. Disability etiquette, things that can be, cannot be, or should be said or not be said. For example, when I heard, Albano girl, no, girl with a bio. So teach us, show us, because many of us have said, we want to know, we want to learn, so teach us. Can we get that going on here? Disability adequate with signage around campus in different places. And the other piece I got was, we want to know more, we want to hear more. We don't just want to meet once a year and learn about what we can do. We want to be active. Keep moving. Keep well, folks, that's why we have to dock for today. Be sure to join us next week, same time, same place. And remember that you can always visit us on Facebook, that is uh, abled differently, or use our SMS lines to send comments or views, that is 22162, starting with the capital letters AD. We want to thank Sportsview Hotel Kasarani for their warm reception. I have been your host, Caxton Osozi. And Jane Peuri. Goodbye. Oh,
hata ukada mimi wale wenzako ukaenda kunisema maneno ya so msingi ulidhani watani chuki nia yako kuniharibia jina badala yake wakanijia na kunifungua macho